Hey guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Today's tutorial is a vintage inspired ringleader. She's the first character in my seven part freak show series. If you like to see how I created her, stay tuned. Okay, so here I'm just using a precisely my brow pencil from Benefit in shade four to just go ahead and fill in my eyebrows because there can never be enough eyebrows. So here's me doing that for a while. You know, just um, filling them in. And then here's a Star Crush Mineral Pigment in shade Crimson Red, which I'm going to apply just to the front part of my eyebrows, because for this we are going for a ombre red to black kind of eyebrow thingy. Awesome. So this is Star Crush Mineral in shade Dark Matter, which I'm just going to use to fill in the rest of that brow. For Okay, and now for the highlight, I'm going to go in with also Star Crushed Minerals in shade White Lightning, just to give it kind of a more risen, shiny type effect here. And then we're going in with my holy grail of all contour everything, which is the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs contour book. Oh, nice little brush dance. And then you're just going to keep blending it. It's truly not as aggressive as it looks in this extremely sped up video. But you're just going to keep sticking it all over that halo and stuff right there. Yep. And then there's this guy, which is my Suva Beauty Cupcake and Monsters palette, which is another holy grail, but for like rainbow eyeshadows. You get the point. Don't contour with this. Well, I guess you could. I have. Okay, moving on. And then you just want to overblush the cheeks to give it that kind of vintage appeal. Contour the nose a tiny bit, going in with that same tan powder. Shape tape concealer in fair just to kind of blur out the corners of my mouth give it a little bit of a smaller appearance then my favorite eyeshadow primer on the face of the earth urban decay eyeshadow primer potion in original just just kind of dab that all over the lids before you go in with your eyeshadows here you see me using the most perfect palette ever for this tutorial the freak show palette by strobe cosmetics i'm truly just using this as a crease color and then we're going to move on to the Lunatic Cosmetic Lab Zombie Defense Palette, and we're using that beautiful black shade as a base for a nice smoky eye. I'm keeping this a little messy because I do like the idea of the characters doing their own makeup in their tents before the performance, whatever. Here you see me using Double Take Eyeliner from Tarte Cosmetics, the pencil side. I'm just going to line my waterline, and then we're going to go back in with that Star Crush Minerals pigment in shade Crimson Red. We're just going to use this to gain kind of a halo effect with the eyes, so the inner and outer corner. After we've done that, we're just going to continue blending until we like how it looks. Here I'm going in with a little travel size of the Tartiest Lash Paint and back with the Tarte Double Take eyeliner this time with the winged liner side the liquid liner side this is literally the best eyeliner I've ever tried not sponsored just obsessed and now for the lips we're going to line these with a black lip liner I'm using NYX cosmetic suede lip liner in shade Alien. once we're done with the lips we are going to go in with one of my favorite highlighters, this Makeup Revolution Highlighter in Golden Lights, just kind of highlighting your peaks. And then here you see me back with the Suva Beauty Cupcakes and Monsters palette. I'm just doing this for intensity purposes. I wanted the red to be a little bit brighter and a little more dramatic. Now to fill in the lips with Kat Von D Beauty Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks in shades Nosferatu and Outlaw. We're gonna go with Outlaw in the middle and Nosferatu on the edge for kind of a vintage ombre effect. Okay, so right here what you're seeing me use is like a clear gel from MAC to give a liquid eye effect. I got it years ago and I honestly don't know what it's called and the label's worn off. I'm using this to temporarily apply my glitter. Um, and the glitter is just a gold craft store glitter, a really fine glitter. And I'm kind of just putting it in my inner corner, right under the wing and right under the ends of the brows. Here, you're seeing me use Maron Makeup Paradise Paints in shade white. And I'm just going to start stenciling in the body paint. 
If you guys couldn't tell, I'm definitely sick. Sorry for my little sick voice. But we're, we're getting there. We're getting there and we're still doing it. So all I did was I stenciled in the epaulets, which are the shoulder pads, the shirt with the shirt collar, um, the lapels on my blazer, and now I'm just stenciling in the stripes on the shirt. This doesn't have to be perfect at all. You can sharpen everything up later. And now I'm just going to fill in the shirt collar with white. Just keep filling it in. And then here I'm just going to kind of fill in the white stripes, which I just filled in every other stripe starting from the center. You could really do this however you want. And in case you're not familiar with the Paradise Paints, they're just a water-based cake paint, which all that means is that you wet the brush or the cake, whichever is easiest for you. I prefer to wet my brushes. And then the two together create this beautiful, highly pigmented paint. These are literally my holy grail. You guys are gonna get tired of me talking about them because I use them in almost every single look I do. And now for the red stripes, which same exact thing, the paradise paints. This one is in a dark red color. I'm going to go in and do every other stripe, just like a circus tent. And then the lapels on the blazer. What I don't show in this video just for time purposes is that I do go over each of the red stripes again, just to really saturate that color. Just because I like it to be a little more dramatic, but that is totally up to you. You do not have to do that. Here I'm just going to fill in all surrounding space with black. So the way that I get this to look clean is by starting with my outlines. So I'm just going to outline everything and then just start filling in where your blazer would be. Just keep filling, filling, filling. And then we can clean up those lines later because clearly I'm messy. Another paradise paint. This one's in shade black, probably like my eighth pan of black over the last year because I go hard with this stuff, guys. And now you're seeing me put little triangles for goodness knows why on the tips of the collar just because I thought they were cute, totally optional. And then since I am going to go in and add drop shadows later to make the clothing appear more realistic, I am just delicately outlining everything in black. Right now I'm going to add in a little droopy bow as if there was a little ribbon tie under the color of the shirt to hold it together. And these totally impractical teensy tiny buttons, but they're cute. And then just more feeling, oh hey, so this is Lumiere dust from Ben Nye. This one is in the shade gold. I mixed mine with Liquiset so that it would give it kind of a liquid paint kind of feel, um, but it still gives that gold flake appearance, which I love. Kind of a pain though, because if you're going to do the Liquiset and the Lumiere powder together, you are going to have to pretty consistently spray the powder. And here I'm just adding that nice little vintage fringe look around the epaulets and then I'm going to line the rims of my lapels just so that they look a little more regal because it's the ringleader and she's fancy that's why once you get that all lined out um, I honestly went over this one as well just because the liquid set Lumiere powder combination isn't totally ideal. If you have a gold paint, that's probably more practical, but I had run out of mine, so. And then back with just a really fine black line because we are going to add shadows, which we are starting. So that was just a NYX Cosmetics 10 color palette. Um, and this one, I'm just using the black, the matte black shade. And I'm going to go all over the place with this little fluffy brush and add a subtle 
kind of drop shadow. So closest to the black line is where you want it to be the darkest and then kind of fade out naturally from there so it doesn't look lined. But even this is pretty messy, which is totally fine because shadows aren't perfect. You could honestly do this entire paint with cream paints. If you were going to wear it out, I would definitely suggest doing the water-based or alcohol-based paints. Alcohol-based paints, same thing, you just wet the paint or whatever with 99% alcohol. Um, and then back with the black paradise paint, I'm just adding a tiny little triangle to my forehead just because I felt like clowning around. <laughs> it's okay guys, I think I'm funny. And then we're pretty much done. Now all I'm going to do is throw on a wig cap. Mine is stained, sorry about that. And then my Ferrari Classic wig in, I want to say it's like crimson red from Arta Wigs. And a cute little top hat that I had thrown together. And there she is. That's the finished look. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff that you always hear. And come back and tune in for the rest of the show because there are six more tutorials headed your way.